Let's try that again. Good morning, church. It is so good to see you guys. Are you ready for today? I am ready for, we are ready for today, and we are very excited. Please stand and join us as we begin our worship this morning. Two, three, and. Good morning. As we go to God in prayer this morning, let's remember Cricket Sayre, Linda Tisdale, Pat Rudd, Paulette Hart, Mary Rose Balch, Martha Bailey, Tammy Zang, uh, Sharon Burkhalter, Davis Burkhalter's stepfather who passed away, so remember that family. Remember Farmington Baptist Church for the death of their youth pastor. Remember all of those affected with the Covenant School and then all of those affected with the tornadoes this past weekend. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we lift up your most precious holy name this morning. We know that you know all, and we know that nothing that happened this past week shocked you. Even though the world may be evil, even though Satan feels like he's got a foothold, 
We know that you're in control. We know that you're on your throne. And you're never going to leave your throne. So, Father, we praise you for that. We praise you for uh, just protection through these tornadoes that, that happen in our area. We do pray for those who lost lives. We pray for the, the families. We pray for those who lost property and just had damage. But, God, again, none of that shocked you. None of it surprised you. You're on your throne. So we praise you this morning. We love you, and we ask this in your name. Amen. A few announcements this morning. We uh, need help at 6 p.m. tonight to get eggs ready for the Easter egg hunt this Saturday. So help at 6 to fill the eggs, get those ready. Come at 11 on Saturday to help with the egg hunt. And anybody can help, and those who are fifth grade and down can hunt. So everybody can come, and everybody can take part. We also need lots and lots and lots of candy still. So bring candy so that we can fill those eggs Try to have it, candy, candy, candy. Uh, bring that candy like 545, 555, something like that. You can even bring it in between there, I don't care. But bring that candy so that we can start filling those eggs at 6. Also, next Sunday is Easter, and we're going to be observing the Lord's Supper. So everybody come for that. Come on Easter. Invite somebody to come. We're also, this morning, right after the service, going to be taking up a love offering for Miss Mary Rose Balch. I do need to let you know that VBS is coming, and we still need workers. So if you're not signed up on the website yet to work, please do so. Uh, you can also talk to me or uh, Miss Rachel or Miss Kristen. Just see one of us, and we'll, we'll put your name down on the list. We have two spots available for a, uh, for a mausoleum that, that has been given to us, and we're wanting to sell those. So if you're interested in either one of those or both of those, see it's probably probably just see Brother Jay, Miss Paula. I, don't see me about that. See one of them, the, uh, one of the important people. And then don't forget Wednesday nights, Facebook Live at 6:30. All right, I'm going to ask the guys to come, and we'll take up our offering. Let us pray, dear Lord. I want to ask you once again this morning to be with the choir as they bring our program to us. I'd like to ask you to see to each and every need on on our prayer list. Just take this offering and use it where you see fit for all these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So one, two, three. Amen.
thousand tongues to sing. Blessed be the name of the Lord, the glories of our God and King. Blessed be the name of the Lord, Jesus, the name that charms our fears. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. He breaks the power of canceled sin. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Is the blood can make the foul. Blessed be the name of the Lord When Jesus washed my sins away Blessed be the name of the Lord Blessed be the name, blessed be the name Blessed be the name of the Lord Blessed be the name, blessed be the name Blessed be the name Let's sing that one more time. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's pray. Lord God, we love you so much and we just worship you on this day on this day when you made your triumphal entry. <coughs> Lord, help us to keep you in mind this entire week. And as we go through this week, Lord, all that you did and all that you said, because this is the most important week. We ask you to guide us through this week, Lord. And help us to grow closer to you. Help us to understand what it meant for you to make the sacrifice that you made. And as we prepare for Easter next week, Lord, help us to be ready to celebrate. Celebrate you as our risen King. We love you so much. And we honor you today, Lord, in your holy and precious name. And for your glory, we all say, amen. Please be seated. Number one, yes, I know how to tie one. Well, and the first one is, yes, I have one. <laughs> we had a sick child last night. My wife, my wife, whenever, so she was, we were up at four dealing with that. You all know how that is. <laughs> a sound that you just don't want to hear. <laughs> that. Mm. <laughs> so at four this morning. It was, a, it, was a, it was a rough start to the day, but uh, what was funny is whenever I, I got ready and you know, we, we, knew that, we knew that she and the kids weren't coming, I walked out and she looked at me and she goes, who are you? <laughs> 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 anyway, we are 
so excited to be able to, to uh, be, be able to, to do this for you today. This is Jesus Christ, our living hope, and hope that you are blessed. And hope that uh, hope that you like.
First Peter 1 3 tells us blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ because of his great mercy has he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead also in Hebrews 6 19 we have this hope as an anchor for our souls firm and secure it is the certainty that what makes that what God has done for us in the past guarantees our place in what God will do in the future. Blessed be our Lord Jesus Christ.
God spoke our world into existence, and in the right time, his word took on flesh and became one of us as Jesus Christ, the Son of God and Son of Man. For 33 years he walked the earth. He was tempted, he was tested, he laughed, he cried, he loved the unlovable and touched the unclean. He gave sight to the blind, caused the lame to walk, and raised the dead to life. Isaiah 53, 7 says, Then, like a lamb led to the slaughter, Jesus was led away to be hung on a cross at a place called Calvary. He was humiliated, he was mocked, he was abused. Then, he died and was buried in a borrowed tomb. He was the blood sacrifice that was required of man to be right with God. He paid our debt so that we can be freed from the curse of our own sin.
1 Corinthians 15:55 His lifeless body lay in the grave while his followers hid afraid heartbroken their minds could not understand why he had left them so soon he was so young and so beautiful but on the third day his body dead and buried came alive death had lost its power death was swallowed up in victory angels stationed outside his empty tomb announced the news Christ is risen he is risen indeed Living hope, it is by this we are saved. This hope is not wishful thinking or fleeting dreams. It is a reality that we accept by faith. It is the proof that, as Hebrews 13:8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Our God will never 
leave us or abandon us. He picks us up when we fall. He covers us in the shadow of his wings. He carries us when we are too weak to carry on. He is with us through the death of a loved one. He is there through the loss of a job. He is there when the doctor says there is no hope. He is there until we draw our last breath. And he is there to welcome us into eternity with him. Though heaven and earth pass away, we need not fear, for he is there, our living hope.
That's how you get a standing ovation. <laughs> well, amen. amen. I don't know if that was good or not. I, I was heard here myself, and it wasn't too good. Uh, they sounded good, but I sound pretty bad. Anyway, uh, we want to thank you this morning for coming uh, on this special occasion because it is a special day, Palm Sunday, when Jesus came walking into the city of Jerusalem and oh my goodness can you imagine how that must have been that day I think people were so celebrating they were happy they were thankful and then just a few days later Jesus was dead sad thing let me read you the words that the angel said to the ladies when they came to the tomb after the bear you can sit down for about 30 45 minutes <laughs> We had someone come in this morning. He says, I came because I knew you weren't going to preach. <laughs> ha! <laughs> no, I'm not going to preach. In the book of Matthew, chapter 28, the ladies came to the tomb. And, of course, they were a little bit afraid because they were coming to a place where there were soldiers who were supposed to be. Um... They were afraid what they would encounter when they got there. But when they got there, they came to an empty tomb. And they were perplexed. I mean, the tomb was gone, empty. And when they came, there was an angel there. And the angel said, See the place where the Lord lay. See the place where the Lord lay, he said. And then he told them to go quickly, and he told them to tell. He first said, come, and then he said, see the place, then he said, go and tell. I think the same thing is true with us. We, first of all, have to come. We have to come to Christ. If you've never come to Christ this morning, that's the most important thing you'll ever do in your life, is give your life over to the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to come and see what he can do in your life. 
But then, after you come and see everything that Jesus can do in your life, we need to do what the angel told the ladies to do. Go and tell. It's not enough just to come here and soak it in and say, Woo, that's so good. This is so great. And then we take it out there and it's like, no, that's not the way it's supposed to be. We come in here, we soak up everything that Jesus is saying to us, the Holy Spirit of God working in our lives. He's calling us to be more faithful. He's calling to be uh, maybe to a position. He, he knows what he's saying to us, but he's trying to lead us and he's trying to direct our lives. But then once we experience all that, our job is when we leave out of here, we're to go and tell somebody the good news of the gospel. I hope that you understand the gospel is very simple. Jesus came to us. He's the living son of God. He is God in the flesh. He came to us. He died on that cross to pay for your sin and my sin, the sin of the world. And all you have to do to have your sin forgiven and have a home in heaven is simply believe, repent, have faith in him, and ask him to come into your life and he will forgive you of your sin and he will give you life everlasting. Maybe you're here this morning, you've never experienced that. I want to give you the opportunity to do that. Why don't you stand with me again?